Physics question. Say there is a block pushed against a wall. What force prevents the object from sliding down the wall? We have weight which points vertically down. So what vertical force opposes the weight and prevents motion? The answer is friction, of which there are two types. Number one, static friction is when there's no motion yet. Static friction is denoted by Fs, and it's limited by a maximum of mu s times Fn, Fn being the normal reaction force applied by the surface on the block, or any other object for that matter. Mu s is what we call the coefficient of static friction, basically a measure of how rough the surface is. For example, Say mu s times fn is 100 newtons for a certain surface. If you were to apply a force of 20 newtons, the surface would be able to keep the block stationary and counteract your force with 20 newtons that opposes it. If you were to increase your force up to 50 newtons, the surface would still have no problem counteracting your force and preventing motion. Same thing holds for 95 newtons, for example. But if you were to exceed this threshold of 100 newtons, then the surface would not be able to stop motion anymore, and we would start moving. Which takes us to the second type of friction, kinetic friction. And this is when motion is currently in place. Fk is given by mu k times Fn. Notice that this is an equation, not an inequality. So it's a fixed value. Also, this is no fundamental physics law. It's just something experimental or empirical, if you will. Mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction, which for a given surface is smaller than the coefficient of static friction. And that makes sense because if you think about it, it's more difficult to make an object start sliding than it is to keep it sliding if it is already sliding. Makes sense? So back to our original question, the force that is preventing the block from sliding down the wall is the static friction Fs. If you push harder, then the normal reaction provided by the wall will increase to prevent horizontal motion. And as Fn increases, Fs, which is proportional to it, will increase, therefore giving it a larger threshold to which it can increase, counteracting the gravity and preventing vertical motion.